Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today is a super casual chatty get ready with me. We're just going to hang out for a minute. We're going to talk and I'm going to do a little bit of a life update while I sit here and finish my makeup. I do already have my eyes done today. The theme that what I was kind of going for was bejeweled Easter egg and I feel like I did it. I used my Juvia's Place Garden. I'm trying to reach it. Uh, my Juvia's Place Garden of Juvia's palette. Uh, actually, this was the first time that I used it and oh, so, so good. The shimmers in here are phenomenal. Really, really gorgeous. I thoroughly enjoyed playing with this. I'm going to play with it a couple more times uh, and then I will add it in a new makeup Monday and give you the lowdown on it, uh, but really, really good so far. I think that the makeup turned out so super pretty. I did, of course, do a TikTok on today's look. If you are interested, I will have the link for that as well as a list of all the products that I'm going to be using in today's video in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions about what I used or how I used it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will get back to you. So diving right in to kind of just uh, girl talking for a minute. Oh, okay. So I, these nails are just giving me life right now. I went to Walmart, Walmart the other day and one of my favorite pl uh, places in Walmart is that clearance aisle. You know, that aisle that's just got a bunch of stuff shoved in it. You've got everything from like pet supplies to hair dye. It is so much fun. It's one of my very, very favorite places to peruse. I hunt. I hunt through that aisle. And at my Walmart, it's usually packed full. Uh, so I can spend a good 20, 30 minutes in that aisle. And I usually come out with one or two things that I just like am so excited about. These nails happen to be one of them. Uh, so these are the Salon Perfect Glazed Nails. And nine times out of ten, these are like anywhere from seven to nine dollars a pack, right? Not super affordable. Ten bucks for a pack of nails is like, oh, it's a little bit much. But I found these and the uh, the packaging was all ripped to shreds. And I guess somebody had opened it and all they wanted was the glue. You would think that if you needed nail glue, you could just buy a thing of nail glue because it's really only a dollar. I couldn't even tell you, but their loss was my gain. Well, I, I don't even know how to say that, but I, I ended up lucking out uh, because these were on sale for $1.50 and I think they are just the most adorable little things. Nails like this are so trendy right now. I love the shape. I love the color. It's really beautiful white, uh, but it's got an overlay of a really beautiful uh, light pink pearlescence. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I love them. I think the clearance aisle at Walmart is one of the pl best places to come up with uh, unexpected treasures. I love it so, so much. I didn't get a chance to go to Burke's or anything like that. So hopefully next time I go, I will be able to stop in. But there has been so much going on here. I don't even know where to begin. I will start with the fact that my son has a friend. And I know to most people that wouldn't be like, you know, that's not a big deal. But my son is uh, autistic and he is, it's hard. It is really, really difficult for him to make friends uh, at all. He just has a hard time connecting with people. And so I worry about him, right? I worry about him being lonely. I worry about him not having anyone to talk to. I worry about him being lonesome at school. Things like that. You know, just like things every mother really worries about. But when he came home on Monday... And he was talking on the phone. I was like, who are you talking to, right? He was like, I'm talking to my friend, mom. I was like, oh, okay, all right. And so I'm kind of like peeking around the corner trying to hear what's going on. And then I hear Sean say, well, do you want to come to dinner? My mom's my mom's a cook. She makes really good food. Huh. I was like, okay. Mm, so I guess they made a date, a play date, or I don't even know that he's 13. So I don't know if it's a play date, but they made a plan for him to come over yesterday. So his friend comes over and uh, Mr. Hubby went and got him after he got off of work. And y'all, to hear my son in his bedroom with his friend laughing and uh, just kind of like cutting a rug and, you know, just being a typical 
teenage boy, it made my heart so full of so much joy. And it's not that he hasn't had friends over before, but a lot of times you can tell the other times quite often when he has friends over, you can tell he's really trying. You can tell he's really trying to connect. You can tell he's trying to be, he's trying to make it a successful visit, right? And last night, it was just so effortless. It, it was really just such a carefree experience for him. He had the best time. And then uh, I actually really, really liked his friend. Uh, so I'm still, his friend is uh, on the spectrum as well. And I had a really, I had a little bit of a difficult tr time uh, trying to talk to him in the very beginning because he was very shy and he was, you know, well, he, new house. He was just, well, it was a little bit of sensory overload, honestly. But once he warmed up and got, you know, got together, got his, got his, uh, took a breath and kind of acclimated to his surroundings. He was such a complete and total joy. He ate, oh, I tell you what, there is nothing I love more than a, you know, a person with a, with a healthy appetite. I am a chef. I absolutely adore feeding people. It is my love language. I, if I love you, if I like you, I want to feed you. I want to make sure that your belly is full and you are fat and happy. And I fed that little boy and he just loved ev absolutely everything that I made. I ended up making a uh, pork tenderloin and then I made fried cabbage with homemade uh, stewed apples, like cinnamon stewed apples. Ugh. It turned out so incredibly yummy. We had a really great dinner. And then me and Mr. Hubby just kind of like sat in the living room and watched TV while Sean and his friend just kind of did their own thing. It was absolutely phenomenal. I was so, so very happy. Uh, so that was wonderful. So Sean definitely has a new friend now. Uh, and it, it seems like it was a very, it was effortless, right? You, do you have that one friend in your life that you can talk to and you can be around that one friend that you can go like months without talking to and then pick up the phone and pick up right where you left off? Just that effortless, easy kind of friendship, right? Uh, it, it, felt very much like that was what Sean had found uh, with this new friend. So I'm very, very excited for him. Uh, I can't wait to see how, you know, this relationship blossoms and things like that. But it was super, super taxing on uh, on Shawnee Bear because after we took his friend home, Sean just wanted to, Sean just wanted to peace out. He was absolutely done and I don't blame him. I don't blame him in the slightest, but he was like, mom, I'm done. I'm going to go put a little bit of this on. He was like, mom, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. He was completely entire, uh, like entirely, entirely drained. So he went to sleep. And then I tried to wake him up for school this morning and he was still so tired. I felt so bad, but I have a feeling if he uh, had the chance to do it over again, he would, he'd do it over again in a heartbeat. He really did just have that much, that much fun. So speaking of Walmart, uh, Mr. Hubby and I, finally purchased a new vehicle. I am so, so excited. Uh, we were without a car for, I want to say, almost two months. And it was really, really difficult. Not having a vehicle, especially when you live in the mountains like we do, it's not like you can just walk to town. It's not like you can call a taxi. Uh, there is no public transportation here. So when you don't have a vehicle, you're really at the mercy of friends and relatives to come and take you the 20 minutes to drive to the grocery store. And then when you do go to the grocery store, you really have to make sure. Ooh, I let that sit too long. Almost, almost let it sit too long. Uh, but you have to, like when you do go to the grocery store, you really have to make sure that you stock up because you know you're not going to be going again for a while. It was just a pain in the hiney. So we scrounged and we saved and we were finally able to save up enough money for a down payment on a vehicle, which I am so incredibly happy about. Uh, we were able to find a really beautiful deal as well. Uh, what did we get? We got a Chevy Equinox, Equinox, I think. Uh, really, really great mileage on it, really low mileage, uh, brand new tires. It's got pristine interior uh, and we were able to find it for a price that we could actually afford which makes me incredibly happy. Uh, so yes, we are no longer uh, 
a vehicle list. We are no longer without transportation. And y'all, when I tell you it was such a giant weight lifted off of my chest, I didn't even know it was there. It's just like, it's, there's a sense of panic, you know, when everything isn't okay. I am the kind of person that absolutely thrives on a schedule. I thrive on knowing exactly when I'm going to make dinner. I thrive on knowing exactly when I just like to have a schedule, right? It keeps, it gives me comfort. It keeps, it keeps me secure and knowing what's going to happen when, uh, because while I was growing, growing up, there was never a schedule. There was never any kind of security like that at all. So it's one of the biggest factors in, you know, when I was kind of building our family model and things like that, figuring out how I wanted uh, to run our household. I really wanted to focus on having a schedule. I just think that there is a, an insane amount of security in knowing when things are gonna happen. But when you don't have a vehicle, it just kind of like throws everything out of whack because everything becomes unsure, right? You don't know when you're gonna be able to get to the grocery store. You don't know if Sean misses the bus, you don't know if you're gonna be able to get him to school. Uh, Mr. Hubby had to get back and forth to work. We didn't know if he was gonna have a ride uh, to work and back, things like that. It just threw everything into a kerfuffle and I was really not enjoying it at all. And it obviously uh, was causing a lot more anxiety in me than I was aware of at that point in time but I cannot tell you how incredibly excited and blessed and thankful I am that we finally were able to fix that situation and you know it's not the most beautiful vehicle in the world it is not brand new I think it's a uh, 2020 it's not brand new uh, and it's probably a lot more expensive we weren't able to pay for it downright um, but we did we were able to set up payment plans that we are relatively comfortable with so we're gonna make it work but y'all it's not it's not like a brand it's not a brand new like freaking i don't even know what what, what what would be my dream car what is your dream car i would love to know that in the comments below i've never even really thought about what my dream car would be when i was younger i always thought that i wanted a jeep but the older i get the more I realize that I'm just not a Jeep person. I am, I don't live the Jeep kind of lifestyle. You know what I mean? I think honestly, if I were to pick my uh, dream car and I didn't have to worry about uh, putting gas in it and, you know, fixing it and stuff like that, I think my dream car would be either a, like a, like a Chevy Tahoe, like a big SUV kind of thing. Or when I first got together with Mr. Hubby, he was driving a he was driving a Mercedes SUV. <laughs> the luxury when you don't have children and, and have disposable income. <laughs> anyway, he was driving a Mercedes SUV. I believe it was an ML320. And it was the most gorgeous vehicle I had ever seen in my life. And it was completely blacked out. Uh, and it had peanut butter leather seats. And it was just... Oh, but it was absolutely beautiful, but it was just not, it, it, it wasn't, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? It just didn't work, right? It wasn't quite big enough. It was ridiculous on gas and it was so expensive to fix and maintain, even just buying tires for that thing. I remember just trying to get a set of tires was like an insane amount of money. This has a lot of coverage. This is the new Flower Beauty uh, buildable coverage. What is this? The Get Real Serum Foundation. This has a ton of coverage. I was not expecting this to be quite as brightening as it is. I really, really like it. I think I probably should have gotten a shade deeper. But that's really, really pretty. That hid the bags under my eyes, the dark circles under my eyes in a heartbeat. I really, really like that. Anyway, he had a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Mercedes uh, SUV, but it was just way too expensive to maintain. So we ended up eventually trading it in and uh, getting something that was a bit more, a uh, bit easier on gas and a bit more affordable. But I do think that if I was ever in a position to not have to worry about maintenance and not have to worry about trying to uh, keep it on the road, I would get another Mercedes. I really, really liked it. Not even just because it was was a Mercedes, but y'all, it was probably one of the most comfortable vehicles I have ever been in in my life. It was, oh, the seats were like 
you know like that really good leather that they make purses out of how it's like buttery soft and stuff like that that's what the seats felt, felt like and then they had uh butt warmers in the seats so when it was winter and cold outside you could put the the seat warmer on and you were just all nice and toasty oh it was so so nice so yeah probably a mercedes suv would be my dream either that or like a like a really big SUV like I'm talking about like four row seating I'm talking about room enough to stick a couch in if I needed to you know something like that I know Mr. Hubby would probably pick what is his car he has always wanted one of those fast and furious drift cars I don't know how he'd fit in there though Mr. Hubby is like six foot five I don't know how he would fold up his legs and get in that teeny tiny little car but uh he every time we see one on the road he was like oh he kind of drools over the vehicles mr hubby is very much a a car guy i think my base looks pretty good at the moment i am liking that very very much oh that concealer is nice uh so yeah sean has a friend we got a new vehicle and then when we, when we went to uh when we got the vehicle and it was kind of like that big weight off of my chest mr hubby and i took a day and we went on a little bit of a day date and y'all it was so nice it had been so long since we had just taken the time to just be together without having to worry about everything else without having a million and one different things to do and it's not like we went out because you know we like had stuff to do we just went out to go out and honestly we just don't do that enough we just don't do that enough we don't ever just take the time to go out and enjoy each other's company i think it gets super easy to forget that you know our relationship is a priority as well we get so obsessed with not, maybe not even obsessed but overwhelmed i guess is a better word we just get so overwhelmed with general maintenance right G just generally trying to keep our heads above water uh just trying to keep everybody fed and warm and safe and happy and we forget to put any kind of extra time into ourselves and our relationship so we took the day and we went to walmart and we just worked we, we were just together we went out uh and we uh, had something to eat we stopped and got a super greasy absolutely delicious cheeseburger I had a milkshake and then we came home and it's really nice because uh, Sean is old enough at this point where he can stay home by himself uh, and you know we live right next right next door to the police station so it's not like I have to worry about uh, worry about it uh, and we're in such a small town that like we know we know that the head of police we know you know like we know our neighbors and stuff like that uh so i don't have to worry plus sean has a phone and we live in a really really safe area so it's not something we really have to uh, worry about too awful much so we were able to just leave him and it's not like we went very far away but we took that like hour and a half two hours and we just kind of focused on ourselves and we held hands and we talked and it's kind of crazy, but sometimes talking to your significant other, just talking to your partner can seem, uh, not, I don't want to say like a chore, but it's it's almost scary, right? Because it's almost like, well, I don't want to upset you. I know that, I know that, I know how I feel, right? And I know that you probably feel the same way and I don't want to put any more on your plate. I just, you know... So you just kind of end up not avoiding each other, but not really talking either. And then you just kind of get to that point where you just get very complacent and you just let your, you just let yourselves become a, uh, basically go on autopilot, right? And I think that day that we went and went on our little day date, I think it really, really helped. And uh, that night we came home and we had a really beautiful supper and we talked and we played uh, board games and it just was overall a really really beautiful day so i am so so thankful i was thinking about it the other day and i know at this point i am in a position like i know i'm blessed i am so so blessed and i never ever ever want to come on here and make it seem like i am uh bragging or anything like that y'all believe trust and believe i am so not trying to brag at all 
but I come on here trying to relate to you guys because I guarantee you the same problems I have you pro you guys probably do too uh and if not the exact same something probably very very similar right so it just is so I know that I am incredibly blessed to be able to save the money to purchase a car right because not everybody can do that and uh when I was talking you know because we pray and stuff every night we pray as a family and I'm not here to shove you know the Lord down your throat because that's not what I'm here for but I do find it to be a bun a, a big comfort to me to sit there and even especially when times are good right because it can be very easy to forget him when things are going good because you don't really need him at that point in time but i try to make a big point to remember him especially when times are good because i know that none of that is possible without him you know what i mean and on top of that in order for us to get the car we actually had to get help from somebody and it was somebody that we probably never would have asked for help in the first place and they offered their help freely and willingly and it was so humbling it was such a again I was just so super thankful it was such a uh, a humbling and wonderful experience I just it ma it makes me I'm just happy I'm just happy life is going life is getting better day by day day by day life is getting better uh and a lot of it actually has to do with the fact that when I made the decision to walk away from my family and that's another point I kind of wanted to talk about because uh there is a little bit of an update there so when I made the point to walk away from my family and I made that video about uh my sister and things like that actually two things happened so the first thing happened was my sister has never been supportive of any of my online stuff she kind of she, she'll like a post here and there uh every once in a while but didn't go out of her way to be supportive in any way and anytime I asked her for her opinion or something like that it was always oh I'm busy or she was she would just be very salty about it right and that's okay because her, you know she has her own problems uh but what really like upset me a little bit well a lot was the fact that when i had asked asked her to like just kind of just be supportive she just didn't have the time so when i made that video and i posted it i hadn't it hadn't been posted maybe i want to say an hour before I get an absolutely awful text message from her. Uh, just just telling me about uh, what a horrible person I am and about who, who goes onto the internet and airs out all their dirty laundry like that and goes on and disses their whole entire family and this and that and the other thing. And quite honestly, I, I wasn't disrespectful. I made a point not to be disrespectful. Uh, I didn't give out any of her personal information. I, all I did was say that I didn't agree with the way that you had handled things and I didn't agree, agree with the way that I had been treated. And because of that, I was just going to walk away. I was going to go no contact. Now, I, had, I, I, I don't know how to block her number uh, on my phone. I blocked her on social media and stuff like that. But apparently I can't block her on my business page uh, on Facebook, which is where uh, she saw the video. So she texted me and absolutely just kind of like laid into me about it and I didn't even bother to message her back uh, I didn't do anything I was like you know what I'm glad you enjoyed the video that's all I said I'm glad you enjoyed the video but it just made me it just kind of I thought it was funny the fact that she never had the time to watch any of my other videos she never had the time to like any of my other posts but the very minute that she thought it might be about her it was the first thing uh, that she kind of uh, leapt onto, jumped onto. I just, it just goes to show that if they wanted to, they would. And she didn't want to. She didn't want to, so she didn't. Uh, and when it had, you know, when it had something to do with her, then she had the time. So it was just like, uh. But a good thing that came out of that whole situation is that I actually was able to rekindle a little bit of a relationship well, a lot of bit of a relationship with my brother. Now, I didn't know, but they had done my brother the exact same way, which in a way made me feel a little bit better. Uh, not that they had like done, you know, done wrong by him. Just the fact that I wasn't the only one, I wasn't the only one that felt like that. And for some reason, my, my, 
uh, my mother and my sister and my aunt, they all run this, the, the family, like a, like a mean girls club almost. And it almost is very, very high school to me in a way. And y'all, I haven't been in high school for, I'm not, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I haven't, haven't been in high school in a very, very long time. I am so over those games. I am so done playing any of those games and just being just being spiteful to be spiteful I just don't have time of time for it in my life right now and I think that I think that's the, the the big difference is my brother doesn't either uh so and a lot of times what they would do is they would play all of us off of each other right because as long as nobody was friends then nobody could kind of cross-reference and figure out where, where the lies were and who was telling the lies and this that the other thing right it was easier to control the narrative when nobody was friends. But now that my brother and I are talking, and we're not super close. We used to be really, really close. We're not uh, anymore, but I'm hoping that we can work on that uh, in the very near future. It's coming slowly but surely. Um, but now that I'm talking to him and uh, trying to have a relationship with him, everything is becoming so much clearer it's becoming a lot easier to realize exactly what they did and how they did it and it just like where do you find the energy this this is honestly something that i want to know like people who do that people who pit other people against each other and people who are you know just hateful and spiteful to be hateful and spiteful where do you find the energy to be that way? Because y'all, I just can't. Like between running my life and taking care of Sean and taking care of Mr. Hubby and all of the uh, daily activities that I have to do, my mom chores, things like that. Y'all, I just, I just couldn't. There is no, no wonder everybody is miserable and exhausted all the time because you're taking all of this extra energy to do things that are completely and totally unnecessary. I just, I don't even have time for it. And on top of that, uh, I've, because I'm talking to my brother, I've kind of rekindled a bit of a friendship with his wife. And that actually, well, she's not necessarily his wife, but they're engaged. Uh, so his fiance. And again, it was one of those things that we had a very strained relationship for a very very long time and she's actually the sweetest person she is actually the sweetest person she actually told me about um this meal service not meal service but like this miss it's miss misfit grocery misfit something anyway she uh she's just she's big into food she's actually so much like me it's insane which is probably why we butted heads uh in the first place but y'all, she is so sweet. And I've been speaking to her and she really does love my brother so, so very much. Uh, it lets me know that he's being taken care of. And I feel so bad because my, my brother has taken uh, my dad's passing really, really difficult. Like it's it's been really hard on him. And I live so far away. It's not like I can be of much use to him. But she calls me and she lets me know when he's having a bad day. And she'd be like, will you call your brother? And because my brother's a very private person and he, he's not a phone talker, things like that. So I don't contact him. I wait and if he wants to talk to me, he'll usually call me. But if he's having a bad day, she'll she'll get a hold of me and she'll be like, you need to call your brother. He's not having a good day. And then we end up having a conversation and it's just, I feel like I've gained a friend, right? So as well as getting my brother back and, and kind of re rebuilding that relationship I feel like I've gotten uh, an, an, another friend as well and that's super super nice it's just I think life kind of goes like this right you have highs and you have lows and I feel like I'm on an upswing at the moment and I'm just incredibly happy I'm incredibly happy and thankful and uh, grateful and on top of that I get to come on here and share my makeup with you guys and I get to sit here and we get to chit chat and one of my favorite parts of doing the chat and get ready's with me is because I feel like I get to reconnect with you guys in a way uh, a lot of times it's you know straight all about the makeup things like that because that's what this channel is about um but also the reason I started all of this was because I wanted a sense of community I wanted friends I wanted I wanted to you, you know, build that community of people who were like-minded and were uplifting and kind and things like that. And I really feel like that's what my mamas are. So it just, I feel like I have a very well-rounded, I just have just about everything I could have ever asked for, right? It's not like I have a bunch of money sitting in, in the bank or, you know, 
anything like that, but just mentally and emotionally and things like that. I'm just, I'm, and I'm in a good point in my life and I'm just so I'm so, so thankful. I hope that you guys are having a really beautiful day as well. Uh, the makeup is pretty much done at this point. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of a lipstick and then a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to use one of the new Shop Miss A highlights that I got. This is the Tropical Sierra Pressed Pigment in Azure, Azure, Azure Twilight. But I want to use, I want to use this really beautiful kind of, these two colors right here get a really gorgeous icy highlight going on Woohoo! it's so pretty I love it so so much I will of course take finished pictures and post them over on Instagram and Facebook y'all if you are not following me everywhere you definitely should go do that I post fun content every single day and if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. Uh, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.